So the reason why I haven't been making videos as often is that of too many reasons. Number one, my drawing pen broke. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're f Number two, I've been more busy with school responsibilities in the congregation, and the worst of all, marching band. But nevertheless, I have returned my young ones in need of knowledge. So here we go, how to survive the cafeteria, part two. As of the making of this video, I am now a freshman in high school. Which means I have gained more experience in the cafeteria. So let's begin. Chapter three, the vending machine. As many of you know, vending machines are infamous for being con artists. So in order to protect your money from being taken, follow these guidelines. First, look out for any signs that may indicate that the vending machine is broken. For example, I wouldn't risk putting in those $5 if there's a sign saying no refunds. Make sure the buttons are working properly. This has happened to me more than once. You know, you're trying to get some choco cocoa, but instead you get vegan pops. Disgusting. Also, I think I should probably mention this. If the vending machine doesn't drop your candy, do not shake it. In fact, time. You're more likely to die because of a vending machine than a shark. They account for three deaths every year, 1,700 injuries. I mean, if you don't die from the sugar, then I guess you'll die from the machine itself. Also, don't be this guy. You can't fight a vending machine. It'll always win. Chapter 4. Cafeteria Staff. Alright, alright. So we all have that one lunch lady that gives us the stink eye, but show them some basic level of respect. I mean, maybe they had a rough day, or maybe it's because you keep on taking two french fry cartons instead of one. It also goes for custodians, also known as Educational Institution Waste Removal Engineers. Whoa. Chapter 5. Lunch Lines. The only thing worse than people stealing your food when you go get a drink from the vending machine is waiting in line for your food, so you have to plan it out. Figure out the most strategic way of getting in line first. If you're not as hungry, then use the restroom or do something else, I don't know. Because waiting in line to shorten up is better than feeling like you're an idiot just standing around line not shortening up, if you know what I'm trying to say. But if you want to get up in line, then you can try these three strategies. One, ask nicely. Maybe the person in front of you isn't a complete jerk and will let you in front of them. Dos! Get in front of them while they're distracted. I'm sure they won't notice, but if they do, here, have a band-aid. Twa! Wing! Go in front of them knowing they're watching you. You gotta live life to the risk. Don't press eject when removing your flash drive. Wear a white shirt while eating spaghetti. Use a pen on a map test. Pour in the milk before the cereal! Ah, stupid music. Well, you've all passed my class, except Timmy, because he brought a bad lunch. Oh. Here are your diplomas, and I should probably mention I'm not a licensed educator, but I'm on the internet, so nothing is stopping me from pretending I am. Well, it was nice knowing you. Goodbye. But sir, this is the introduction to surviving the cafeteria class, but what about the cafeteria skills too? This is called foreshadowing.